All these guys that they hold up on a pedestal, man, they going through it just like the rest of us, man. He <laughs> married a girl that's, that's in the game. Right. <laughs> she, she was. Corey Holcomb talks about Tom Brady and Giselle's divorce. Right. All righty. Corey Holcomb speak on it, man. Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchin. Now they just got their divorce. And now they say that she was in, was it Costa Rica? Mm -hmm. She was in, she was in Costa Rica, Costa Rica with the kids jujitsu trainer. <laughs> Damn. You know, but that's, the, that's, that's like how it really goes. Mm -hmm. I mean, like all these guys that they hold up on a pedestal, man, they going through it just like the rest of us, man. He <laughs> married a girl that's, that's in the game. Right. <laughs> she, she was a, she was a model. Wasn't right, she? Right, right. Oh, man, you think that height they give him is the greatest of all time? Work at home? Right. When well, you at home, <laughs> you just the dude, Tom Brady. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you that just ain't husband. nothing, obviously. Yeah. She go. And my thing was, man, I'm like, man, it's the funny. The jujitsu trainer, <laughs> like, I can't even whoop on him. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine <laughs> thinking that you're in the right? And then you get choked out in front of your kids at the same time trying that, to defend ooh. your your household. It ain't gonna be no get off of her. Yeah, you gotta wait till he threw and try to figure out what happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, it's a famous comedian that I know. He's rich, uh -huh. and he did some show. Who is it? I, I don't no, want to say his no, name because no, it'd be oh, it's Already. terrible. But well, anyway, he had this um this puppet that he that he uses. I'll put it like that. I don't have to say the name. We got to find it. He had a puppet. Not that, like not, not that, Indian, like that. Indian type puppet. Okay. So he was getting death threats about it because some of the people didn't like it. Uh -huh. So he got the FBI involved. So the FBI mm. checked out who was these people getting in touch with. But yo, this is the funny part. He got cool with the FBI because they like him. So he had them check on his wife and oh. it changed his life. Uh -oh. Wow. <laughs> All you rich guys, Damn. you don't want to find out what your wife doing while you on the road and everything. Just, oh, just no, come home man. and get what's left. Wow. <laughs> just come home and tell her to clean it up. <laughs> Give her at least an hour window before you come in the house. Yeah, man. You don't want to know. Because something going on. Right, you rich guys, you don't know how to pick a wife anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? You pick the girl that's attractive instead of the girl that's about something. So all you rich guys. Tom Brady, listen to this. Yes. Don't check on your wife. You don't want to know what's happening while you spiking touchdowns. Hey, man, no. you're on the road a Somebody lot, too. Somebody touching down and up. Go ahead. <laughs> do, you, do you get concerned when you're on the road? Nah. Could it happen to you? Nah. Oh. Nah. I'm nah. different. All right. Why? why? <laughs> I'm, I'm, and why I'm, are you different? I know, I know who I got around me. Right. I, I, I mean, I know that sounds kind of boastful, but... Uh, I know who's around me. Right. I mean, like the girls that I get who get down behind my back, I know who they are. And I don't think it's fair that they get mad at me that I don't move them up in the game. I'll be like, come on. <laughs> right. Now you think are I'm Are these stupid? the $200 girls that you're talking about? <laughs> these are them girls you call their phone and don't answer. When I call your phone and you don't answer, you just step backwards in my life. Really, though? Hey, you can't not answer the phone if I call. <laughs> 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 What? Hey, what are you man. doing when you can't answer the phone when you see Corey come across there? Hey, man, I love when you were talking about how you get the some of the girls where it's like $200 just changed their life. Or you, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my God, you you, you took care of me. My hair is done. Like, and, and those $200 girls really think that they have an opportunity to be around a boss. Right. You you get to – we. I come over. I take care of you. Man, look, these girls don't even know the pecking order of family. This girl told me she ain't got no money, right? So I gave her some money, and she went grocery shopping and said, I'm going to cook for you. She invited me over. Do you know she made her son play first? Oh, really? I was oh. like, how dare she? What is wrong with you? You said she made her son's <laughs> plate I first, and you food. had a problem with that? <laughs> what? So she didn't follow the Corey Holcomb pecking order. Hey, man, look. So if you buy the food, no way in the world she should feed her child first. The little boy didn't even want to come to the table. He was playing the game, and then when she forced him to eat something, he ate a little bit and just left it right there like it wasn't nothing. And I'm sitting there like, you I paid took for care of that boy. <laughs> Your son. Who daddy in jail. Right. That boy ain't going to be about right. nothing. I'm the light. Right. <laughs> What is wrong with you, woman? And you should eat first. Right. That's why she needs the $200, because right. she don't know how to act around right. somebody like me. <laughs> Amen. All cylinders. Man, these appearances are legendary, man. But, you know, starting with the Tom Brady situation, like, yeah, how cold is that that your wife is now left you 
she gave you an ultimatum to tell you not to play in the NFL for the next, uh, the upcoming season. You denied it, and she executed the divorce paper, divorce proceedings. You know, first off, that's an unreasonable ask for somebody whose life has been football. Unless there's some type of medical issue that we don't know about that Tom Brady's going through. Um, I don't think she's being reasonable by making that demand on him. And then to add insult to injury, for your next relationship to literally be somebody that was close to the family, that was around my children. A jujitsu instructor, no less. You know it's somebody that I'm not going to necessarily tangle with. But it just goes to show you the disrespect that can go on in your face. Tom Brady's out on the road. What, how many weeks a year? 30 weeks a year, probably 32. And probably more than that. And your wife, who knows what she's doing? Unless she's there with you by your side. But even then, you know what I mean? There's, you know, go back to what Chico Bean said. You know, if you don't wake up and wash it, it ain't yours. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Those who know, know. If not, go back and reference the Chico Bean video. I did. That was cold game. But yeah, that's the thing. So if your wife is in a position to make an ultimatum on your life and, and, you know, good on Tom for making the decision that he wanted to, because a lot of men would succumb to that pressure not to leave, to lose their family, potentially lose their children and millions of dollars to boot. You know, you have to have some type of moral compass. And Corey, Corey really touched on it because, um, you know, it's it's the game is cold. And no matter what you think you're doing, being a boss, it's always, you know, you always gotta you always gotta look over your shoulder, especially if there's a man that um is in your wife's life and she's ready to go to. What do they say? Women always have somewhere to go after a relationship. <laughs> They're not going to make the move unless they have somewhere to go. It's not like she's just going to go and cry about it. You know, she was ready to go. So she had her exit plan already. The other part about the mother who, after he purchased food for her and her son, you know what I'm saying? Like single mother, she serves the son first. Now the, mo the mother probably did this without thinking. But a guy like Corey is going to be clocking these actions and he's going to be like, wow, I, I, I really think you, I really think you didn't know who you were dealing with, that you were going to go ahead and give the son food. Not only did that, but the son didn't even want to eat the food, wasted the food. So it was even more of a slap in the face, even more of a waste. And like he said, you know, he's dealing with a, a $200 woman, which, you know, come on, y'all, it ain't literal. It's not literal, but he might give her a little change every once in a while, time to time, just to, you know, just to, as a good gesture for, 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 for messing with me. But, you know, when you come in and, you know, like I said in the other video about women serving plates and we just passed Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? Um, that gesture can go a long way in a man to a man. The fact that you come serve him and you serve him first, especially if he's, you know, paying the bill, in this case, paying for the food, uh, that can go a long way. And women don't re realize it as a slight or disrespect, but, you know, like somebody like Corey's going to clock that and actually take it as a sign of disrespect. So, yeah, you have to be conscious of those things, ladies, if you want to have success. And, you know, people will talk about this plate thing not being a big deal and that, you know, men are making, uh, making it a bigger issue than it has to be. But most men don't ask for much, honestly. Most men really kind of go with the flow. But, you know, like we said in the Tom Brady situation, all I want to do is play football. All I want to do is go out on top as one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever lived. And this is my life's ambition. You know this is my life's ambition. And you can't give me that. And then you try to get me back because you're a supermodel and you feel like you can. You still got something. You still got it. 
Yeah, it's just spiteful. And, you know, women have to know these microaggressions do accumulate into something that when the man does respond, now all of a sudden it's a shock. Well, you were needling at him this whole time. You know, you're not as physically strong as him, but there are a lot of ways that you can needle at a man's psychology and bring him down. And I think I want to talk about that in some videos coming up. But yeah, anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for all uploads. This is Fawcett Media.